Hello there and welcome back to the Wizardry 8 Shredder speedrun. So let's run with speed. We already killed Gregor. But a bunch of vicious seekers made us run away. Wow, so let's explore the further depths of the monastery without deaths, preferably. Just went around here where we met like 12 seekers and uh, running around. Potion of light heal, nice. Going around the tunnels, chilling. Hmm. It's like meditating. Now, so many new potions, and you see, with picking up potions, you level up your artifact skill. Here we have something for emergency use only, and we see the safe key we got from the statue of life and death. And wow, we got three resurrection powders. This is actually random. So three is a very good number. You can also get like four. I've had four or five. Most of the times you'll just get one or two resurrection powders. So we're pretty lucky here. And now we're going to visit uh, the one shop that is available here and sell some of the stuff we collected for good money and for ammo because all these uh, things will need ammo the gadget here is already low on ammo if you see we don't have like many <coughs> Any Who's bullet that? stones left. Oh, more bullet stones. Nice. Hammer day, the 21st. Strange objects in the night sky, very odd. No landing scheduled at Anika this week. Moon day, the 24th. More strange lights in the sky. Lord's day, the 25th. Ansel, melt the announcement. We are to leave the monastery. I have been ordered to take the key to Lord Braffitt and Anika. Alas, this means the end of my stargazing. So one of the monks, I got a journal here. Uh, is the shop guy, Bert's, pretty tough guy. He's a Trini. A race you can't play, but you can recruit actually characters from it. And this is absolutely funny. It's like having a squirrel in your party. Now let's. Yes. Disarm that trap. The old known matter. Five times is a charm, and it's probably poison darts, as we are low. Um, actually, these uh, traps are in this in the uh, chests are spawned when you go first into an area. So. If you want to wait a bit to go into an area, it's positive because like you will have more difficult traps, but traps aren't the problem in this game. You will have better loot actually. So if we wait here until we level 10 and go to the next level, we'll have pretty nice loot. But we won't do that because it's boring as hell and this is a speedrun. But if you want to optimize loot, you can do that. Now let's see what we can use. Sweet pants, no. Nothing good. Uh. Yeah, we can choose the robes against it. Sweet pants are not, aren't that good. Kill the tunic. Oh, it's better than that at least. Doesn't look that good. Okay, the monk. <laughs> the monk has to wear this. 
be more sexy. <laughs> All right. Now the cleaver uh, is a weapon which does very much damage. So I give that to the ranger. He will most probably not hit very much because he hasn't a good melee skill. But if he hits, it will be a crit. So I want uh, the to hit minus one is is pretty much not important here. So I want if he hits, he should do damage as much as possible. Also, have a mace here, a short sword. I can actually give him a bull whip. That wouldn't be bad. So he can attack from. Rhine Roboy back and he can also take a shield then which gives him more armor class first as you see this is primary slot this is a secondary slot so he if something is in reach of his bullwhip he will attack with a bullwhip otherwise he will attack with a light crossbow so we'll prefer that once we have the double shot crossbow we will use that one but for now, we'll train some melee, yes, the, the opponents aren't that tough. Now, Book of Stamina, which we can give to the Valkyrie. Excellent. Tell it no, the, all these cloth pants we can sell at birds. Psst. Hey, was that you? That ship crash? Wow. I thought you were goners for sure. You ask me, something real bad's going on. Cause your ship wasn't the first to fall out of the sky. Alright, who are you, birds? Traveling salesman, at your service. What do you know? That information's worth a little something. Hmm. The Different monastery? Is okay. It's Higardi. The Brotherhood. Their temple, I guess. No one's in there now. They took off a while ago. They've got another temple in Arnica, though. A guy named Braffit runs it. Say, you been to Arnica yet? Nope. Well, if you haven't got plans, that's a good place to go. There's all kinds of stuff happening there right now. It's just south of here. Well, there is a rumor that you might be the third messenger. Oh, interesting. Great! Nothing much to tell you. They're nice. In fact, I still uh, get most of my stuff from them. All right. So Arnica. Oh, Arnica's the city of the Hagardi. It's right on the coast. I get most of my stuff from there. In fact. You see, you can directly enter something here. To make a dialogue, or you can click on something. That's in Arnica. And it will answer you through the dialogue system. Mm -hmm. Your success is determined by your communication skill, so if you have good communication, they will talk to you easily, and if you don't, they will sometimes not answer you. So, hey, you look over my new stuff yet? They will say something totally random if you're so asking hey, them. So, hey, you look over my new stuff yet? Something random. Well, I should be going soon. Well, I should be going soon. I'm not really sure. So, we can ask him where Triton is. Because it should be his home city, as he's a Trini. You'll need to go south of here. And he knows. Or about the his chosen people. ones. Of course, I don't know what we're chosen for, but if something comes up, it doesn't hurt to say it. <laughs> I can pick for pocket him, which we won't, because pickpocketing <laughs> just don't do it, <laughs> unless you're feeling very lucky and have a master pickpocket. It, well, it will bring some nice items, but it's not worth to lose a shop keeper. You can actually try 
charm or mind read him, that won't bother him. Well, what we want to do first is we want to sell all the useless stuff we collected from all the strange slimes we mowed down. Uh, cleavers are always worth keeping because you can build a very nice axe with them in the late game. Or in the middle game, more that like short bows. Yeah. They bring good money, they're not that good. Knock picks, we won't use them. They're good to sell too, though. We can get much money for spell books. That's our long term strategy. And the Poseur's Cap actually gives you plus 10 on locks and traps, if you don't have the skill locks and traps. It's actually to come out of the monastery if you don't have a thief guy and if you want to recruit him later, that's the way out. But we have one, the gadgeteer, but could do it too, so we can sell this. The sales prices are also modified by your communication skill. Well, that is pretty good here. 33 for that level is quite nice. Later it will be much better and you will pay f as much for an item as you... Uh, if you w if you buy it as you get if when, when you sell it from the... Uh, so the, the merchants are pretty much like exchange uh, stations if you have someone with good communication. That's pretty good. So we can look if we have something to use here, but mostly it's... To buy something like that is like wasting money. But what we always need is ammo. So we will buy a whole lot of ammo everything there is. Sometimes there are pretty nice things to buy, like resurrection powder, but we want to save our money for spellbooks. Because spellbooks not only teach you spell, but they will also raise your spell points. Come back and see me if you need any... <laughs> Till we meet see, again. We also have increased communication skill after his, this conversation with the guy. You have summoned me? So, as you can see here, you have this bridge in which you can let them let it go up and then it comes up here and then it, you can go through the door but we won't do that now because like it's down there we'll do that when we come back to the monastery and have the key for this door there is like the treasure of the monastery and it's a good treasure but if you go up here too early you're stuck in here because Gregor will actually stop you from going out. Which isn't like that bad because in case you're stuck because you pulled the trigger down there and the bridge came up and, in, and you're now up here you can actually jump back down here into the river and if you're fully healed you won't die. So you are not blocked by Gregor. And you're not like locked in forever. Well, now we got the resurrection powder and all. So we can proceed to the next level. There is something on the map here. 
which I seem to have forgotten. So I'll just check what that is. Something in that room. Ah, oh, nice. Concussion powder. It's something you can throw on an opponent and it will hurt him. As you can see here. Okay. Also relock this door if you want. And you could also like after you aggro Gregor you could run through here. <coughs> Maybe seal the door and go to the next level. But we are choosing the manly way to kill everything. That is manly. This place seems to be completely abandoned. I wonder why. A creature approaches. I'll see why. Because of this these lot filthy rats. Play. As With I already pleasure. wrote, rats are... Vulnerable it to will mental be done. spells. You got so we'll it. attack them with spells until they're actually near us. Mm. Uh. Okay. With pleasure. And we will attack. Taken care of. The weaker red first, of course. Let it be That was a good hit. Damn. And that red is insane. Oh, no, that's nice. around with this red as it's a single one it's not dangerous skill ups nice monk can heal him himself nice psionics went up and Behold we have some a creature. Seekers. You got it. Only three of them, so we can just run in and kill them. And they're like not that dangerous too, so we won't do that like the effective way. You got it. We will practice our spells. Hey! Oh. Ah. With pleasure. Need to use these spells, of course, but with pleasure. Oh. That's just toying around with the opponents. They're not tough enough. I see for something. Us. As you can see, like Gregor was the toughest guy here. So now here you can see. There's some boxes on the ground. And later you can uh, activate a device which will break this glass and you can jump down here into the circle of boxes. There's a nice cloak in it. A votre service. Now let's heal a bit. Damn! I hear you. Let's run on. Locked. Yes. 
Nice boots. For the samurai. There is a lock. Oh, three locks or something. Or something of a challenge for thirty percent. We can try a bit. Maybe we're lucky. But I'm hearing rats, so as you see, the rats are coming. If they surround us, it can be pretty dangerous here. They are camouflaged, so we won't know I exactly what's coming. Pretty much a bunch of reds. Let battle begin! Oh wow. Maybe there are some reds behind us too. Maybe we're all dead now, but let's see. Okay, they're all frontal here. So I'll try to I'll try to kill them. I just ignore reds, not uh the tougher rabbit rats. With pleasure. So I hope. It will be done. So we might be able to kill them all. <laughs> Nothing surpasses the thrill of the hunt. There are rapid rats. Hmm. But we'll actually use the more effective weapons here. You got it. As it would be dangerous not to do that. And after that, kind of quick fight. Nothing surpasses the thrill of the hunt. Taken care of. Oh, you can see so many dangerous rats. Let's just kill them. Taken one care by of. One. Avec plaisir. Avec plaisir. Avec plaisir. Avec plaisir. Yeah. Oh. Rabbit rats first, because they have all sorts of nasty effects. Always you wait until it. they're near us to use our more effective attacks. <laughs> Come on, kill that damn rat. Nauseated. <laughs> ah, pretty bad. With pleasure. Reds wandered around, which is good for us. As we only have to deal with the rabbit rats now. Taken care of. Here. That plague is gone. I think we should heal her here. Taken care of. Mm, otherwise, we're good. Panopticon! Oh. Taken care of. 
if you uh, click on the same symbol, it will do the same thing again as it did last round. I can only hope to kill that thing here fast. Nothing surpasses the thrill of the hunter. Hmm. Oh, yeah! What a relief! Pretty dangerous. Let me change it. that. We will also try to you equip something. Or, well, that makes no sense. You got it! Just hope that the monk doesn't get killed. Let's maybe with pleasure. Sleep the with rabbit pleasure. <laughs> or that I measure also our good. progress in bodies. Wow, so many skill ups. Uh huh. And we will run ah, up there. More fodder for our blades. Avec plaisir. Well, let's just zone out. I think that's I am no longer safe. afflicted. With pleasure. And actually, give us hit point potions. Whoa. The rabbit rats are the dangerous ones. The others you can ignore. Good old fashioned zoning. No, we can heal service. safely. I hear you. Redistribute some potions. What do we have here? Oh, oh, let's give her four light heals. And these guys have healing potions, but let's distribute something anyway. We have tons of these now. Later you can actually lose, use them for alchemy, which will bring much money if nothing else. But now, mm, let's just rest and kill the rest of the rats. When your alchemy skill of your ranger is like 30, he can mix potions out of other potions. And when you have someone with high communication skill, you can actually mix and mix and you will actually make a profit doing that. So it's kind of a money cheat if you want. So if you go down here you'll go to an area which is like easy to kill, but we won't go there. Why? I see something. Look there. Because you can unlock something there which is done here. And we'll only have to go there once then. As this is a speed run, we will do that. So now we'll choose for our final fight. Ah, more fodder for our blades. A fight against actual men. With pleasure. And you as I already it. forgot again to give her some bullet stones. <laughs> we'll do that now. Guardies, you should usually go to an edge and, and wait until they come to you and all that stuff, but um, let's give it some feather darts. That's good too. Split them up. So we have two attacks instead of one. Avec plaisir. 
you should do them one by one, but there are no opponents for us right now. So I'm just running and killing them. The background behind the door to the left there. You got it. You can hear seekers. Apparently the thieves had no qualms about desecrating a holy place. You wonder what became of the monastery's original inhabitants. Wow, now he comes near. Nice. Oh! <coughs> the first result of our strategy. You got it. Our arrows and bullets do tons of damage. Oh, and we have an instant kill from the ranger. Taken care of. The ranger has to do it can do ranged criticals, which results in an instant kill. It's based on his ranged combat. So now we have here a statue of... of what actually? Let's read it. Foon Zang. It's the Cosmic Lord. We are inside holy halls of the monastery and snakes, all sorts of decorations, moons, wow. And with this holy man, I'll say see you next time on the Shredder speedrun for Wizardry 8. <laughs>